the monument at the south terminus of the Pacific Crest Trail. Look at that view. Absolutely amazing, isn't it? I've had the monument to myself here for about the last 15 minutes. Did just meet another through hiker by the name of Al. 80 years old, I'm gonna hike the Pacific Crest Trail. There's the wall and Mexico. Time to get this hike on, huh? See you on the trail. Day one of the Pacific Crest Trail. Um, I guess I'm probably about nine and a half miles into the hike. Starting to get warm. Definitely a sharp contrast from yesterday. So let me get you caught up. So since this is my first video, I'll go back over a few of the logistics. Flew out of Tennessee on the 4th. Had a layover in uh, North Carolina. And I got into San Diego somewhere around 1.30. I'd like to say it was pretty non-eventful, but I did probably the, the worst cardinal mistake a traveler could do. I completely forgot in my stylish fanny pack, which, whoops, sorry. That was not really a picture of my fanny pack, was it? Uh, <laughs> we'll leave that alone. Um, I, my fanny pack, I had packed my knife from a previous hike and guess what I forgot to take out before I went into TSA. So anyway, long story short, spent a little bit of time with TSA. They were good folks. So, um, and then like I said, I uh, made out to San Diego. I uh, had plans to stay with a couple trail angels by the name of Scout and Frodo. So for those of you that are planning on hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, do take the opportunity to look them up. Uh, probably one of the best decisions I made they host I'm gonna guess somewhere around 20 hikers PCT hikers at a time they have a real nice canvas setup or canvas tent set up in their their backyard for people to sleep in it's four hikers per tent they got a tree house look them up um, this gave me an opportunity to meet 20 hikers already before I even got to the trail absolutely loved it a lot of international hikers uh, UK Germany um, they fed us dinner, uh, free. They fed us breakfast, free. Um, they taught us the lion dance. Uh, and then we, we spent, um, probably the last part of the evening, uh, just sitting around in a circle, really visiting with each other, talking about trail. Scout has a, a plethora of knowledge when it comes to the trail. He's hiked it multiple times. He's written a couple books. Um, had a really good time. Next morning, woke up, like I said, they've had his breakfast, and I caught the shuttle. There's a, a, a PTC shuttle that um, goes by the um, airport and picks up people, and then it also stops at the REI and picks up people, and it stops at Scout and Frodo's place. So 
really convenient. Um, picked picked us up, picked a couple of us up there, and then we came down to Camp O, and it was nothing like you would see in any other YouTube video. Uh, I've been to San Diego probably at least a half a dozen times, if not more, in my life, and it's always looked just like this. It was an absolute downpour yesterday. Uh, wind, heavy rain, hail. It made it almost impossible to set up the tent. Um, but we made the best of it. There's a little shelter there at uh, Campo. Uh, has a couple couches, had a fire, a couple of uh, propane gas heaters. It was awesome. Just sitting around visiting with other hikers, getting learning their story, their background. I met some amazing people. Now, whoop, I just stumbled. Uh, just because it was pouring down rain and it was cold, very cold. Uh, I don't want you to think we were miserable because we all ordered pizza and we sat around and had pizza and visited most of the evening. So that pretty much leads up to today. I uh, woke up early this morning and I uh, hiked up to the monument uh, while I was there. I met a gentleman by the name of, I believe it was Hal, it may have been Al, uh, 80 years old, like in the Pacific Coast Trail. It's people like that that inspire me. Absolutely cool story. Uh, got his story. Um, then I kind of hiked solo for a while. Uh, just really tried to take in nature, the sounds. Um, I was ahead of the crowd this morning, so it was just kind of me on the trail. And I uh, taking my time. Um, before long, uh, a couple people passed me, but um, Johnny uh, from the UK, uh, one of the young men that I met at Scout and Frodo's place, uh, caught up to me. And uh, we've been hiking together pretty much ever since. As a matter of fact, wave. They're right behind me right now. So, really enjoy uh, visiting with him. Uh, great human being. So. Uh, we'll see you a little bit further upon the trail. So here's camp for the night. Just me right now, but I promise you all that empty space will be taken up later today. Got an early start, like I always do. I stopped at 11.4 miles today. Not that I couldn't have gone further, trust me. I could have gone a lot further. I feel pretty strong right now. I'm kind of kicking myself that I stopped. I'm really trying to prescribe to the philosophy to take it slow out the gate. Big thing is to build the endurance, the muscle, the muscle strength. I wanted to talk. Um, a lot of injuries happen in the first three weeks due to overuse. And quite frankly, while well, people are afraid of bears, uh, the Sierra River crossings, my biggest concern about getting off trail is due to injury, and especially overuse injury. Um, so I decided to stop at 11.4 miles today, which is about halfway um, to town. Uh, I should be able to hop into town tomorrow, I'm hoping. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take the rest of the day. I'm going to relax. I've got my uh, my Garmin pad out. I'm just going to sit in here in the sun. It feels really good. Um, it's kind of cool that a couple clouds have kind of blocking the sun a little bit, so it allows me to kind of just kick back and relax. I'm going to do a little reading. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at, so I will see you on day number two.